Hello YouTube, I just wanted to say thank you for 300,000 subscribers. At each 100,000 subscriber milestone, I show you a collection of mine. Today I'm going to show you my one real handgun. All my other handguns are airsoft. I can't have a real handgun in Manhattan. And then I'm going to show you my lever action rifle collection. It's only three of them, but they're pretty cool. This is a, a 1911 Steyr made in Austria. You can look it up. I'll put a link in the description of another YouTube video. This has an interesting story. This gun is from 1911, made in uh, during World War, just before World War I. And um, it is a nine millimeter top loading clip strip. My dad got this gun at a garage sale. A gentleman had passed away and his family was selling all of his stuff. And my dad said, I think I got you a gun kit. He didn't know what it was. My dad's not really a gun guy, but he knows that I'm into this stuff. So all the parts were in a cigar box. I had never seen this gun before. If you notice here, it's completely ground off, the name, but not the serial number. So I have no idea where this gun was or what it was, why it was concealed. Uh, I looked online and a lot of these were used by the Nazis for MP guns or you know, Nazi police guns. And uh, you see the, uh, the Nazi symbol is typically right here. This one doesn't have it, so that's probably pre the Nazi regime. Uh, but it is in perfect working order. I never fired it, although it totally seems like it would fire. The firing pin is there. It was in pieces, and I'd never seen it, and I was able to put it all together. And it works. You load down from the top, and... Uh, it fires, there's no reason to dry fire it. The grips are really beautiful. They're a hardwood and they're in perfect shape for the age. I read a little bit online about it and it says that these guns were left over and used, I think were given to Vietnamese troops or, or the Vietnamese fighters you know, for the non-communist side. And uh, so maybe this gentleman had it left over from Vietnam. That's just my, my guess. So it's actually a really nice piece of engineering and it is rock solid. So, that's a 1911 Steyr. This I showed in my video last year. This is a Colt 45 Henry Big Boy made in New Jersey. Colt 45. I love lever action rifles and if I lived in the country more often, I'd probably have a bigger collection. So I'm gonna fire these. I got a piece of bulletproof glass. We'll shoot it into that in a minute. This is the one that I keep loaded all the time by the bed. This is a 22. Henry, lever action, 22 long. Uh, I wouldn't say this is my beater, but this is the one I keep used most often. And I'm not a hunter, I don't kill animals unless they knock over my foundation. I've killed a couple of gophers just to keep them from living under the house. And that's really what I use it for. And then also just home protection. This is a 4570 Marlin. Stainless steel, 1895 GS, S I think denotes stainless. You could buy this gun in black as well. And I'm gonna show you the bullets. The bullets are really long. You load it down here, and it takes, I think, four bullets in one of the chambers, so it only carries five bullets, I think. Maybe four. You gun nerds are gonna probably blow up my comments. I'm in the search for the same gun, but in 357. So if there's any dealers out there, or somebody knows where I can get the same gun, but in the 357, 38 special size. That's what I'm looking for. If you can figure out a way to get me one of those, I'd be willing to buy it. Stainless. Marlin. So this is a pretty badass rifle. It has a big bore. Um, let's take a few minutes and we'll go out in the yard and we'll shoot him. Come on. Well, here we are in the back of my uh, Polaris. And this is the 22 long. I'm gonna load this up first and uh, show you how this works. This opens up on the bottom, and then there's a chamber to drop bullets in. I like this because it takes a lot of bullets, about 17, maybe 16. You gun nerds want to answer that question? So, and it's fun. It's just a lot of fun to have around in case you need it. You know, we are in America. We love our guns. So, uh... Let me fire off a couple of rounds from this. We're live. I have a P-51 
piece of bulletproof glass down there with a camera set up right near the bulletproof glass. So we'll see what happens down there. Alright, this is a Colt 45 rounds. They're much bigger. It's gonna be a louder bang. This gun loads the same way with the two. Let's see what happens. We're live. Broke that in half. This is the 4570 that all that power. On the camera, you'll see we have a brake drum from a 1972 Chevy pickup truck. Fire in the hole! Square on the side, but I don't think I made too much of a dent. This is like a shotgun blast. I think we're gonna have to shoot something that's gonna break. I thought that the drum would break. Or the brake would drum. Or the brake drum would break. Stand by. Just going through the cleanup I found two of the bullets. I look for more, we can only find these two. These likely from hitting the uh, the brake drum. You can see some of the damage. I was at the 4570 bullets, and that's likely what these are. Thank you for the love and support. I really appreciate all the kind words and emails that I get. Thank you very much. More to come at 400,000 subscribers. Peace and love.